This is Arts Alive. I'm Linda Philippi, and my guest today is Jim Moorhead. Jim's an artist who lives in Newburgh and is here to tell us all about your beautiful work and what's coming up for you. These are the fruits of about almost three years' efforts now of doing waterfalls. Okay. How did you come to focus on waterfalls? I owe that to my wife. We were coming back from the coast on Highway 26, and she said, stop the car. I want to take some pictures of that gorgeous stream. And so we took pictures, both of us, and later discovered what the name of it was, and I had to paint pictures of it because it reminded me so much of where I grew up in Oregon, uh, Eddyville, Oregon, on the Aquina River. Oh, okay. The river went right through our property, so I, I really knew it well. Mm -hmm. We lived there five years. And North Fork Wolf Creek, I'd swear, looks just like the Yaquina River. Mm -hmm. And where is the North Fork Wolf Creek? This location was about 20 miles approximately inland from Seaside okay. on Highway 26. Mm -hmm. And it's gorgeous. So you've been there again and again? or no. That was the one and only stop and pick group of pictures for that location. Uh, we just move on and on. Mm -hmm. Our next uh, trip was just a search, kind of vacation-y, carefree trip on the roads toward the coast. We went off of uh, Highway 26 to, uh, oh, I forget the number of the highway, but it went off in another direction toward the coast mm -hmm. from there. And then we saw a sign saying, Nehalem State Park, this way. And we went eight or nine miles up this little backwoods road and found Nehalem State Park had a waterfall. Oh, really? Okay. And so I started taking pictures of that waterfall there. And it has a fish passage. That's what they call fish ladders now, I guess. Mm -hmm. And it was gorgeous. And we went back in the, that fall, that autumn. This was during the summer. We went back in the autumn. And the river was flooded, and it was raging, and it was fast, and it was loud. And it was just almost covering the fish passage. It was coming over the sides of the fish passage mm -hmm. walls. And the rocks there at the waterfall are like uh, volcanic lava had, and, and water froze them in their positions. And they're just, they're just prehistoric shaped rocks and that that was very much a subject of my first waterfall painting was the rocks around the waterfall mm -hmm. it was totally prehistoric just the shapes of them i got all caught up in that on the on the near side i was taking pictures and the near side rocks were facing the opposite side, and the opposite side had its own rocks mm -hmm. facing us, and, and the water was coming through, around, and, and just had all sorts of challenges for a painter who's not had much experience painting water before. I was going to say, you know, water's kind of hard, isn't it? Isn't it hard to learn how to paint? It taught me a lot. Mm -hmm. And water falls, especially because... It's kind of like it's movement and how do you capture movement? Right. Now seems to be the trend in photography to blur all moving water. And that's not what I see when I go to a waterfall. Mm -hmm. So I, I try to paint what I see. And I use the photos I take as reminders. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that kind of what you tend to do? Okay, here, there's a, you want to talk about the, maybe the painting that's, that's up now? Right, this one's in the studio now, and this is North, Bor North Fork, no, Butte Creek, okay. Upper Butte Creek Falls, and this is one of those falls that you can walk behind. Mm -hmm. The path leads into it. You can't walk out the other side, you'd get very wet, but mm -hmm. you, you can get right straight behind it, and I've sold several pieces done from this location, and one just three weeks ago. It was 30, 30 inches high and mm -hmm. 40 inches wide and seen from where we can see across the way uh, 
is where the trail comes in. And I took a photo from that location facing the waterfall and the pool of water is almost transparent. How it was pretty. great. I could, I could paint almost every rock except when you got close to the water falling mm -hmm. itself. And it starts to foam up and... Yeah, I love to do that. How close, I mean, how close will you get? How, do you get in the water? And no, my <laughs> wife, my wife gets afraid when I get on cliffs mm -hmm. and uh, start to go in the water. Well, you know, there's been several like little incidents in the news recently about people that got too close and... And she doesn't want me to be one of mm -hmm. those. She wants you to have a long and illustrious career. Yes, paint more paintings. <laughs> take more pictures. But that's still fun because it kind of gives a focus to your travels and yeah. where you decide to go. And It's definitely an activity that both of us are participating in. She's starting to write about the experiences mm -hmm. of on the okay. trails getting to the waterfalls and being at the waterfall itself and the, the smells you can smell in the, the damp Oregon environment mm -hmm. because even in the dry summer it's damp around the waterfall, mm -hmm. and it's so much cooler, and it just smells healthier. All that ozone, the right? Pounding and right. releasing, and it. the noise is very much mm -hmm. a reason that keeps us going to the waterfalls too, because we feel like it. It's white noise personified. Mm -hmm. You know, if you can't sleep, there's cars honking or things going on outside. Uh, you turn on some white noise, like a fan even if you don't need the, the fan, but you need the white noise to go to sleep. Well, you get to a waterfall, and here's amplified white noise, and it just like cleanses the cobwebs from your mind. Mm -hmm. You can renew yourself. We used to go to the coast, to the beach, to do that, and now it's waterfalls. So do you look on maps to find where they, where they all might be? We do. My wife does a lot of my research, if not all of my research, <laughs> And, uh, and you drive. And I drive and I paint. <laughs> and I just enjoy the trip. Oh, how fun. And we'll, we'll take turns driving. We've been up to uh, Twin Falls, Idaho, been up to uh, the Olympic Peninsula, some amazing waterfalls there. But we've got here in Oregon, Western Oregon, in the coastal mountain range is, is fantastic waterfalls. Have you ever come across one that was sort of an unexpected beyond the first one, that is? Yes. I've got one large piece of, um, I think it's this size, 30 by 40, mm -hmm. of what I first called, I titled it Secret Waterfall. And then since then, I've, I've titled it uh, Hidden Waterfall because it really describes how we found it. And we were up looking for another waterfall. And here was this waterfall, probably not more than 10 or 12 feet high, but it's inside a group of fallen boulders right next to the road, gravel road, going up a mountain. And it's coming in a, through a small opening up the top, and so very little light gets in there. And here's this water coming down into this dark pool of water that's surrounded by boulders. Oh, how interesting. And I bet that's beautiful. It's gorgeous. And mm -hmm. I'm still trying to uh, teach myself how to paint it best. Mm -hmm. It's all moss. This enclosed environment that's always got mist in the air is really year-round supportive of moss. And I love moss. Mm -hmm. Moss is really pretty. Yeah. It can be different colors mm -hmm. in, the same, in the same area. It can be reds, browns, greens of all kinds. And it just decorates the rocks around a waterfall. So a waterfall painting, for me, is much more than the falling water. Mm -hmm. It's the pool in the foreground in this one, in the background in this one, and it's the rocks are like sculptures around them, mm -hmm. and the rocks have these moss clothes on that you find in western Oregon and you go we would we've been to dry areas and the moss isn't there and the trees aren't there mm -hmm. and the forest uh, old parts of the forest decomposing and merging back with the soil is it's a lot more than just falling water it's the whole environment I love so it seems like um 
through this process, you've become, you know, more of a, a naturalist. Yeah, I don't want to become political about it, mm -hmm. but I'm a real proponent of saving the uh, the purity of the water. Mm -hmm. The quality of the water has become important to me. I used to live on the Yaquina River uh, that uh, goes into Newport Bay, and I never thought about the quality of the water when I was a teenager, but uh, I can see now how important that is. It's like the life blood of the planet. Mm -hmm. That's without that water in its clean state, uh, we'd be in uh, sad trouble. Mm -hmm. It's interesting that you say that, you know, I mean, as you've kind of gotten more involved in painting waterfalls and searching out these places of water that your wife has also started writing about it. Did she write previously? She no, she was inspired to take a class in uh, creative writing because she wanted to record some family history that she mm. saw disappearing. The older generations mm -hmm. are, are passing on and, and as a little girl she was uh, raised for years by her grandmother and her dad and her grandmother and some of her aunts would get together regularly and tell stories and now she sees these stories disappearing and so mm -hmm. she felt the need to do that and once you open up that creative uh, dam mm -hmm. you'll find other inspiration and that's what she found with the waterfalls. So she's become really, you know, truly, um, I guess, as involved in it as you are. Totally, more than a business partner. She's, mm -hmm. she's involved in the creative process, although she doesn't pick up a brush. Well, that's okay because, you know, competition. <laughs> right, right. I'm sure we'd enjoy it if she did, though. Mm -hmm. So now when you're, when you're out and about, you're pretty much just taking pictures to come back to the studio and work. Is that how you do it? That's why I take the pictures. Mm -hmm. Uh, my wife takes them. She's going to publish a book one of these days mm -hmm. of her writing and her photographs. I was a little surprised when she said it uh, with her photographs. I thought naturally it would be with my paintings. But oh. uh, this is her thing, and, and I'm so excited because she's coming up with some very creative uh, examples of writing and sharing them with me and, and some other relatives that, that are just uh, incredible, incredible inspiration to read. Well, maybe she'll let you um, design the, the book jacket. Maybe. Maybe she'll let you paint something for the cover. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and there's my husband, the painter. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's, I mean, that's so amazing. And I know that um, I think you, you also brought some a CD of some images in. Yes. Maybe we'll be seeing those soon, so you can talk about some of that. But um, uh, these are obviously not the same waterfall. Right. This is Upper Punch Bowl mm -hmm. Falls that many people here and across the country are familiar with because photographers, photographers discovered it. And when my wife and I uh, hiked on Eagle Creek, where this is found, we, we didn't even know about Lower Punch Bowl falls, but this is the popular one. Lower Punch Bowl is also beautiful and I painted it. 